Hey, Kimbook K1 Green Mountain Maniac here. A little video regarding QRM on the 7300 and dealing with it. Uh, I'll just show you what I found. Uh, the IP Plus feature, rip it out of the radio, throw it in the trash. I haven't been able to figure out what that does. I know what it's for. Uh, it's for the third uh, order intercept point, but it has virtually no effect on anything. It's useless as far as I'm concerned. And that's been the consensus with everyone else as well that I've talked to aside from a select few who I think are delusional. But that being said, moving on. Um, I'm running uh, HD SDR with an RTL SDR dongle with the NRAD RX7300 interface uh, dual receive on the 7300. We, are, we have multiple QSO parties going on today. I believe Ohio, Kansas maybe, I thought there's Hawaii and there's, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So the bands are busy. So I figured this would be a good good video, a uh, good thing to do. Um, okay, uh, I'm running HRD as a control interface. This has to be running with the HD SDR. And this system is killer. I'll, I'll demonstrate it quickly. I'm going to do a video strictly on the HD SDR setup. Uh, let me turn up the volume. I'll show you how neat this is. Anywhere you want to go on the band, turn this down a little bit. Anywhere you want to go on the band, it's literally point and click. So you can just take your mouse, put it on the edge of the uh, edge of the signal on waterfall. Of course, this is LSB, so you put it on the high side and just click on it. Go throughout the band. Let's go up here. Let's check this signal. Let's check this signal. Of course, and he stopped transmitting. Let's go all the way down here. Let's go down to, uh, what is it, 71795? Uh, let's check this one. It's literally light speed, folks. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal setup. Love it. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for an area of QRM. So before I get there, uh, let's go through a couple things. I'm running HRD as a control interface. So you can either change your filter widths on the 7300 oops, by uh, press and hold and touch bandwidth. Uh, select your filter first, touch bandwidth, and you can set your filter uh, bandwidth here. This is currently set at 2.4K, which I find is fairly good. Oftentimes I'll roll it back to 2K, uh, narrow it up even more. Uh, so let's get out of there. And easier way to do it, if you're running HRD, uh, go right here. You'll see right here on the screen it says filter width. Uh, you can take that and you can set that anywhere you want. Um, all affects the radio in real time. Here's your IF shift right here. Your twin PBTs. That's what you want to pay attention to. So let's see if we can find some QRM. Let's see if we can find a mess. And stand by for a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need to find some QRM. Thank you for the 5 9 Montgomery. You are 5 9 Cuyahoga, QSL. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Uh, of course, we got some ass hat tuning up. She's got a tune up right on the frequency. You can't move away. I'm telling you right now, folks, if your antenna is not resonant within like 20 or 30K, then I would rip the stupid thing down, throw it in the trash, personally, unless you're running a mag loop. That's the only reason. 
Okay, we got heavy QRM here. Here we go. Okay, so we got filter set at 2.4. So the problem is, is if you've got QRM on both sides, the IF shift will only be have a limited effect. So let's use the IF shift first. Okay, that pretty much wiped out the QRM on the low side. So to center it, just right click, hit center, moves it back to center. You can change the filter width, you can roll this, but it does reduce the volume of the audio somewhat. I'll roll it back to two. Okay, just rolled the uh, PBT. QRM is pretty much gone. Now, if you had QRM on the high side uh, from a free, from a cha uh, somebody transmitting above there on the lower side sideband, you can take your twin PBT and roll this to the right. But you'll notice that the audio. So yes, it is very effective. Uh, to zero this back out, right click, click center. Sorry, uh, zero everything back, uh, right click on IF shift and hit center and you're good to go. So that's it. Uh, that's the most effective way I found to deal with QRM as well as dealing with the noise reduction. Noise reduction will help a little bit, but it doesn't help. It's not going to wipe out the QRM on each side. So there you go. Hope that helps you out uh, as far as uh, the control situation on the 7300. 73 from K1 Green Eminem.